Is there something that Max did recently that, that kind of put no, you guys over the top? Or? We, uh, you no, know, we just we wanted to judge a body of work, you know, over a long period of time. It was, uh, you know, both the guys did a great job competing against each other, and you know, we wanted to really evaluate it over time because that's how you you can really you know tell what you're getting. So and it was it was close. Been been fought and did a great job. And I'm really proud of him for the player he's become because of competition. So. I feel like we have two guys in that room that we can win with, and then I feel good about the you know young guys behind them too, because they've learned from the example those guys have set. I mean, it's a good room. Was it particularly Sean. impressive the way that you know Max comes in as a grad transfer, picks up your offense, and just assimilates with all the players, and kind of develops that rapport that you need as a quarterback? Yeah, he he's you know I'm sure he probably mentioned it. it's been a work in progress for him. He you know he's. Uh, he quietly earned his way into everything that has happened, you know. And he didn't, uh, you know, he did, did it with hard work. You know, he's applied himself uh, outside of football, which a quarterback has to do. And then, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's worked to perfect in it every day. So, you know, I'm, I'm really, you know, proud of what he's done because, you know, he had a lot of competition along the way with Ben. I mean, Ben was is a relentless competitor and. You know, he had to compete, so it, it made our whole football team better what those two guys did for us. Sean, as you're evaluating, what tip tip do you think? Uh, you know, just like I said, it's a body of work over a consistent period of time. You know, so what tip it is just consistency and performance, you know, probably. Uh, no probably is just what it was. I mean, you know, you get to a point and, you know, you can just feel that, you know, Max really started to take off. You know, he's, his consistency was, he was very, very consistent in decision making. Very consistent at um, when I talk about decision making in every aspect of our football and managing it, pass game, etc. And then uh, did a nice job, you know, of leading too. You know, he, you know, because of his performance, began to, you know, uh, take. You know, the team started, you know, feeling him. John, Just a little about how the competition, the competition was a good thing yeah. for him. How do you feel like it can be a good thing for Ben Lynch? Yeah, it's, it's made him, a, you know, it's made him, I, you know, I, I have no reference on where Ben's coming from because I just got here. I just know that he's highly competitive. Uh, you know, I have a whole uh, different maybe picture than the guys that saw him develop here. And that's because, you know, he came in and he competed from day one like, he, you know, he wanted to be the guy. And uh, that will go a long way for him because, you uh, you know, he's, he's, I think all the college football players got to learn if they really want something, you know, what it means to go, really, truly go and get it. You know, it's, it, it, it's, it takes so much to go get a job. Well, he's learned all that. He's been through that process. And, um, you know, again, I can tell you it's affected the room because now Kenny and Thomas both have that same example of Ben and, you know, what Max just went through. So it strengthened the room at the same time because – I make sure I point out these things to them, you know, as we grow in that room because the whole, the whole thing you got to do is develop a championship quarterback room. It can't just be a championship quarterback. It has to be a championship quarterback room because at some point, some time, you may end up, you know, in your depth. And there's been years I've ended up as in four, on the four guy, you know, so I have great respect and, you know, for, for that, you know, what that process is in developing that room. How does Max's is arm compare to some other quarterbacks you've had? You know, Max is probably the best. The, the thing that really stands out uh, to myself, and I think you know, people that come here to watch him is that you know he's such a big guy. He's got a big arm. He's an arm talent, um, and he can see over and through things, and he can make throws that you know guys that don't have his height can make. I mean, he can see over things and make throws, uh, accurate throws in small windows. Uh, I think a lot of that has to do to his size because he can see the other part, you know, his arm talent, and he's just got natural passing instincts. As How hard is it? As an offensive coordinator, when you have an arm talent like that, what does it do for you building a playbook? I mean, it kind of gives you some more options probably. It, it does. You just, you know, we it just allows us to enhance maybe some things that we, you know, that we couldn't if we had a runner. You know, so, you know, that's pretty obvious, I know. But, you know, it allows you to, you know, have a you know legitimate passing game because he does a I think Max one of his strong suits is you know getting the ball passing the ball downfield you know his downfield passing in the outside lanes and in the middle of the field is very impressive. 
How hard is that to do, deliver that news to someone who worked as hard? It's very band? hard. Yeah. You know, it's you part of, it has been part of my years in doing this. You know, when the competition has been this awesome, in my opinion, and it's been this good, um, it's always hard. It's hard. But um, <clears throat> I think, um, you know, what comes out of it is, you know, the respect that they have for each other and then uh, the team has for what they've done because the whole team's felt them. You know, and that, that really builds a, a real, you know, foundation in our football team. Is there a message you relay to someone like Ben after losing that battle? Or no, I, you, know, there, you know, I think, you know, I'm trying to be consistent every day. So consistency is, uh, you know, that he is, you know, he's, he's going to be called upon. And when he's, when he's called upon, he's got to be ready. I, I had a unique experience when I coached in Miami of Ohio. Coach Weed Eubanks was actually my quarterback whisperer. So he worked with me, and uh, he told me the most important guy in your room is your is your two guy, and you have to have your two guy ready. You better get the three guy ready. And he's the guy that helped me understand and develop the philosophy of developing the room. So I relayed many of these stories to the quarterbacks, and you know reminded Ben of how important his job is because he'll have to do a lot, be expected to do what Max does with less reps because now you get in the body of practice in preparation. Repetitions go down in terms of which you know what you can give your two guy.